Hello, pediatric capstone students. We are going into the home stretch now. Your manuscripts are largely completed. If they're not, let's get them into their final form before they go through the next, uh, the next stage of the committee review. And now it's time to focus our attentions on our, on our presentation. So I thought I would uh, give you um, sort of a general template to work from. Uh, so I'd like there to be some, some standardization between your talks in some ways. Um, so this is, this is what we have, this is the way we're going to approach this. Um, the first thing is we're all going to have a title slide, obviously. And so something like this with your name, uh, but uh, let's, uh, let's all have a, a, a similar, a similar uh, title slide. You know, please feel free to dress it up. You know, you can make it, give it a little more pizzazz. Um, if you want. So you can, uh, you know, use, uh, use this only as a template. You can add your own personality, your own originality, your own creativity to these slides. So, caps, so a capstone in pediatric and congenital perfusion, your name, class of 2020. The next thing I want everybody to have is an objective slide. And in, that, in these objectives, we're all going to cover these five, five bullets. Uh, you're going to describe your personal motivation to do pediatrics. Um, so that's going to be just a couple minutes. You don't have to overdo it, but just why did you do this? Why? What motivated you to get into uh, this capstone track, looking at pediatrics and congenital? That's objective one. Describe that. You're going to describe also your pediatric and congenital clinical experiences. So let's you know go through your Medtrax data, and let's get your overall stuff. Not just the stuff that you may have done on your clinical rotation, but also the um, stuff that you may have done relating to pediatrics and congenital uh, surgery, the cardiopulmonary bypass performed or observed on, you know, give, give your overall experience. This can be done in a tabular form, graphically, uh, make it interesting. Uh, then you're going to also describe your specific pediatric clinical rotation or rotations. Um, so all of this, we're looking at 15 or 20 minutes there. Use as many slides as you need. Uh, then you're going to, you're, each one of you are going to find some pediatric technique that you've learned, uh, and you're going to express that. You're going to teach that. This is, this is the sort of the graduate level teeth here. Everything up here is just, hey, an accounting uh, problem. Uh, you know, you're just uh, describing what you've done. Down here, teach a significant pediatric technique you learned. Uh, this is uh, this is where the rubber meets the road in terms of the graduate level gravitas of your capstone experience. And again, this can be 15 or 20 minutes, and we'll drill down on these a little more in a second. And then you're going to describe how the capstone may have enriched your professional development, how it's changed the way you look at things uh, in terms of pediatric bypass, uh, your career, uh, your future, all of these things. And so that self-reflection time is, is short, a couple minutes. And then you're going to save five to ten minutes for questions. So each one of these bullets, you can create a, you can create a, a header slide that, you know, this is, this is objective one. This is my personal motivation. Now this slide may just be completely empty because you're just describing it. Um, or you may want to add in pictures that may be re relevant to your um, initial personal motivation for getting into the pediatric capstone. Uh, the next bullet, you're going to start to describe. You are going to describe your congenital clinical experiences. Again, overview of a summary of your Medtrax data on pediatrics and congenital. So, boy, you know, do what you want to do. Make a pie chart. Uh, make it, you know, make it visually interesting that describes and quantifies um, all of the pediatric and congenital uh, heart surgery that you may have that you may have been a part of. And that, and, and that can be um, in all of your clinical rotations. You may have gotten a chance to do a lot of adult congenitals at one uh, site that wasn't your primary um, capstone rotation. And then you're gonna then you're gonna go ahead and uh, get more specific. Where did you go for your capstone rotation or rotations? And describe the details, the staff, the caseload, the room, the layout, the the protocols. Um, if you were involved in any any initiatives there, or any research, or or any efforts like that, describe those. If you you know, tell us the great stories of some of your clinical experiences. 
Uh, if you had some, uh, if you had some noteworthy events, or great saves, anything like that in your capstone that really resonated to you, um, those are those are those will be very interesting to the um, the people watching your presentation. So use as many slides as you want, but we got to keep this again. This this uh, down to about a 15, 20 minute uh, max uh, distance there. Then again, we're gonna, then we have the perfusion technique section. That was one of your objectives, is to describe a unique um, technique related to perfusion, pe pediatric perfusion. And you're going to describe the techniques and what makes the technique unique or different than that of an adult technique or, or more meaningful in the, in the pediatric uh, population. What's the data that supports this technique? Um, so you're going to use figures, images, pictures, as many slides as you need uh, on this section. Again, it's a 15 or 20 minute section that you're going to um, drill down and, uh, and teach and teach this technique uh, to the viewers. Um, so again, this is a really important section. And then oh, one, one other thing is finish this section with the bibliography slide. So just uh, you, can, you can reference things as you go through the technique briefly in the slides, but then at the end the full bibliography of whatever you use to build this section. And then your final analysis, your final, your home, your, your home stretch, your last slides will be your self-reflection. And how did this experience uh, meet or exceed your expectations? And how did it fall short of your expectations? Uh, did it, uh, uh, was it different than you thought? You know, did it, did it, did it match your initial motivation? How did this experience shape your vision of your future clinical practice and employment aspirations. Did it strengthen them? Did it make you more determined to get into pediatric cardiopulmonary bypass? Or did it kind of make you think, maybe it's not for me? So any of, any of those issues there. Um, and then how have you described this experience to potential employers? Has this been, a, has this been uh, good? Uh, how has it been received? How, have you, how do you use this capstone experience um, when you're speaking to potential employers, do they seem interested? Are they impressed? Are they? Is it just another bullet point in your resume, or, or how did it? How did it? How did it all fit in uh, to your job hunting aspirations? And then finish this off with uh, a thank you to your affiliate sites and the preceptors there. I think that would be a that would be very appropriate. Um, we may even invite some of your affiliate site preceptors to pop in and, and, to, and to watch your capstone presentation since um, they would be interested in what you had to have to say and what you got out of the rotation at this kind of level. And finally, just some advice on the presentation. Um, you should dress formally. Uh, you know, our tendency is uh, when we're doing all these things at home or is to, is to be kind of casual, but for this in this instance, I'd like you to dress formally, at least from the waist up, I guess, um, and look good. Look sharp. Be ready to give this presentation. This is really a big deal. This is this is the crowning jewel on your capstone experience, and so uh, really, uh, you know, it's game day. So dress formally. Get prepared. Um, sort of work out your. Um, you, the way everything looks, prepare your background environment, minimize any distractions like dogs barking, or make sure your dad doesn't walk by in his boxers right in the middle of your capstone presentation. Um, and then figure out how, how you are most comfortable delivering this. Um, is it setting your computer on a desk and standing, sort of like, at a po like you're at a podium? Or is it going to be sitting? Uh, and experiment with that. Make sure you are communicating the, the proper body language, uh, the, the impression that you want to make uh, as you're delivering this. Uh, so just work those details out. Leave nothing to chance there. Uh, make sure uh, you're communicating visually what you want to communicate. Um, the other thing is your presentations will be evaluated. Of course, you know, the capstone experience is a pass-fail grade, but um, this, uh, this capstone presentation will be evaluated. Uh, all 12 first year students, 11 of your, your classmates in, uh, in your class, and, and the four faculty will be uh, evaluating your presentations. And, and you may ask, well, what, what do we evaluate? Well, we'll evaluate things like the presentation itself, how, 
how your voice, you know, your voice volume, modulation, enunciation, your enthusiasm and energy, your preparation. Do you see like you're seem like you're prepared for this? That you've rehearsed it. You've um, you've worked out all the details of the presentation. The pace of the presentation is it delivered in a in a in a in, a, in an appropriate pace? Um, in your professional appearance and a professional delivery, and the way you use visual aids within the presentation itself. Uh, then the content is going to be evaluated. Um, was uh, how you introduced uh, the, the whole capstone, the clarity and the correctness and concise, conciseness, the overall present organization of the presentation, transitions between sections, how things transition between those objectives that you have, uh, do you keep the length of the talk where we want it? And uh, how well do you field the questions at the end? And then everybody's going to make comments. Uh, so you're going to get some feedback on this, and we hope, uh, we hope that will help you in your professional develop, development as you move forward. Um, it's going to be very exciting to do this next week. Get this, uh, this is sort of the finish line. This is where you break the tape. Um, so let's, uh, let's start working on that. Um, I'm going to be moving your manuscripts, your capstone manuscripts, um, forward. So get those done today. Um, this is time, to, you know. Let's put the pedal to the metal. Let's plow through and get all those done. I think uh, Ashley, she's submitted hers and it's done. Matthews is completely done. I need to check to see if Maddie's done, and I know Grace is working hard. So I think we'll have everything done today. Um, now take a deep breath and let's build the presentation. So thanks, guys. If you have any questions, I know some of you have had interesting, you know, Matt, I know you've got, uh, you know, your, your pediatric capstone rotation was cut short by, by COVID, and we can discuss any other alternate strategies there. Um, but if you have any questions on any of the way you want to handle this, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. So thanks, guys, and looking forward to seeing these presentations emerge. Um, I'm happy to look over your your presentation formats as you're developing them. So let's keep in touch and let's finish strong. Thank you.